Hi everybody, my name is Dennis, and welcome back to another EP review. Today we're reviewing the latest review from none other than... None other than Allie. He's come out with some, some new music, and he put out another three-track EP entitled Namaj Me, which is just my channel's name, but backwards. So, I... If you remember, I did a couple of track reviews and some of the teaser tracks for this EP. Um, the song Stencil, I still think is his best track so far. I will admit, going back through this EP a few times, I did not enjoy it as much as I did when I initially did my track review. But I still think it's a solid song overall. It has a decent beat. I do think the mixing is a lot worse than I made it out to be at first. I think the drum lines on it, for example, are way too loud. The more um, higher pitched sounding pieces are way too soft. The vocals are nearly completely smothered out by the instrumentals. However, I think Derek's flow on this song is by far the best across the entire EP, and I would say across the entire Allier discography. And I also think the lyrics are pretty clever, they're pretty witty, they're actually kind of funny. So it's really not that bad of a song. And I'll admit, listening through this EP a few times, I there were a couple times where I thought, is this song really all that good? Because I think a lot of what made me enjoy the song as much as I did when I first heard it is just how significant of an improvement it was over the White Sock EP that he had done last year, which was an absolute mess from start to finish. And frankly, every song on here is better than every single song off of the White Sock EP, which is definitely good, but that doesn't mean every song on here is great. Stencil was an enjoyable track, and unfortunately that's really the only good song on here. The song Grad Day has by far the best beat Alia has ever produced, however, there are effectively no good features on here. There were a couple of nice points, I actually thought um, Dippity's verse on here wasn't too bad, I thought Derek had an eh performance, pretty mediocre, honestly. And I thought that um, the hook on here, again, I don't, I have no memory of performing it, so that it probably explains why it was so bad. Uh, again, I think the hook on here was really bad. I think um, Yaya Towers, again, just did not sound good on here. I actually thought Stevie Sizzle did pretty good. Although his lines were very brief, they definitely felt like they had more feeling and emotion behind them than a lot of the other performances on here and again it was just a couple of lines but it definitely felt a lot more from the heart than a lot of the other performances on here it was just kind of a mediocre song overall there were just so many features on here and so few of them actually got any sort of time to shine and the ones that really did weren't good it, it was a really disappointing feat because it was a really legitimately good beat. It's by far the best one produced, but everything else about it just isn't that great. And the last song on here, the one that released with the EP, is one called Dennis Fantano. Now, this one, I have a bit of mixed feelings on for a few different reasons. I mean, when I first heard it, I actually thought it was better than Stencil, but as I listened to the song more and more, it quickly plummeted in my opinion of it. I think the beat is actually pretty boring. It's lackluster. It's easily the worst one on the EP. I wish there was just more life and energy to it, but it just kind of falls flat on its face. I also think the lyrics were actually some of the funniest on the EP. I think some of the lines, such as those about the um, vending machine, or the, excuse me, the um, ice cream machines from McDonald's are was actually pretty clever. There was a lot more funny wordplay, there was a lot more seemingly effort put into the lyrics, which I think is a new for the people who work on this kinds of stuff, but it was pretty funny. Um, there were some lines I wasn't a huge fan of, like that time where they rhymed official with official. Um, I mean, to me that seemed pretty lazy and uncreative. I also thought uh, some of the parts on here had a pretty awkward flow to it. I thought Derek's rapping was kind of just mediocre on here, where a lot of times there are just these lines where he just crams so many syllables into one line that it just becomes this bolstered mess of a song. Where you you when you make a song, you typically have this structure. You have 
so however many syllables it depends on the speed you're talking at and the beats per minute of the instrumentals etc but you have so many syllables you do per line and depending on the beat sometimes you can go one above or one under and it sounds fine but sometimes you can do that and it just doesn't and that's what oftentimes creates this awkward jumbled or broken up sounding um, rhythm to the flow where you either put too many syllables or not enough syllables in a line and it just creates this really awkward unpleasant sound to it where it just you can just listen to anything that just doesn't quite sound right and oftentimes you also have him trying to meet this syllable limit on some lines where he stretches out words he repeats the same word twice and because there just isn't enough words there just aren't enough words in what he's saying in order to really bolster it to the point that he's looking for. So it ends up kind of falling flat on its face as a song, even though it does have some of the funniest lines that Allier and crew have ever put out. I do think it's a pretty mediocre song, just purely sonically, it's not very good. So I did think it was all right at first, again, because a lot of those really funny lines stood out to me, but upon further listens it really just didn't do anything for me so i mean overall this was a drastic improvement over the white sock ep but the white sock ep was such a stark low that it was really basically nowhere to go but up and again i do think stencil is actually not that bad of a song it definitely has a lot of issues to it but it definitely could have been a lot worse if I think if the mixing had been good if the mixing had been going on that song it would have been really really enjoyable however the there's just so much there's just so many issues when it comes to the mixing on here and it's not just on this song either on the dong on the song of Fent Dennis Fantano sorry I can't speak today um we have again a pretty poorly mixed song it's better than stencil but Again, the vocals are just way too quiet, the beat is way too loud, and it just becomes this kind of mess. Again, it's not horrible. I do think Stencil is probably the worst mixed on the album, but it has a lot more going for it that allows that negative to be cancelled out to an extent. So, I mean, with all that being said, this EP was just kind of mediocre. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't anything great. I'm honestly feeling a solid 5 on it. If you listen to it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Be sure to tell me how wrong my opinion is, as always, and I'll see you in the next review.